Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity, upper right hand corner, starting as the pink turn. We have Terror, upper left hand corner. We have Zeki starting as the kind of ugly color, mustard yellow Zerg. This is going to be on Fighting Spirit because this is Fighting Spirit Mania. Game two of set two, game one. Actually, I think I have, well, you guys are going to get the pause thing. Zeki did not win game one. Terror won game one. So we'll do the swap in the middle of the game here. Player two wins our one. Terror's... This is what I meant uh, earlier, is, is that Terror just seems to have ex brutally strong TVZ. Zeki is no slouch. Honestly, I think by all accounts at the moment, the strongest foreigner Zerg. Maybe there's another Chinese Zerg that I'm not aware of that might be a stronger player than he is. But by most accounts, people, when they're talking about, okay, who's the best Zerg out there? You're, Zeki is on the short list. You got Zeki, you got Avilov up there. Anyway, your true touch. Um, looks like he is going to get first Overlord Scout. I, uh, this time we're seeing a forward barracks from Terror. Very dangerous maneuver. So maybe wanting to get an initial Marine out to do some harassment and play from there. Is he going to go for the double eight racks? We'll see. He's got the supply depot behind it, but opened up a barracks to get an earlier Marine out. This is the sort of stuff you see from Terror. It's just like more interesting build orders. He just has a whole lot. I mean, he can go mech. That previous build, I don't think... I'm wondering if he responded to the in-base 3-hatch to 5-hatch plus 1 play, or if that is just his execution of the plus 1 eBay. Uh, point being, I feel like I can learn a lot from watching these particular matches with Terror. Immediate scouts moving out to try to hunt down Zeki. Zeki's unfortunately opened up for a 12 hatchery, which means he's definitely going to have to deal with Marines in his front door. The Overlord going to scooch down and at least scout the supply, depo uh, the supply depot. So has eyes on the supply depot towards the forward location and sees the blinking barracks. Seeing this location, Zeki's gotta... I mean, that would be sending flares in my head. Spawning pool. Fortunately, can't really do anything about it. It's probably going to have to fight off the Marines with drones. Three Marines produced already. The Overlord at least has eyes in them and sees the continue blinking. Needs to make sure he keeps eyes on this SCV in particular. And Terror, not knowing the Overlord positioning, is doing a great job kind of hiding the fact that this SCV at any moment could slide back. Second SCV now in position. There's the bunker being produced. Marines scooching in. Three drones versus two Marines, two SCVs. There's the rest of the drones. So now it's going to be seven drones trying to get past box them away from that bunker by time and minimize losses two drones down already only five remaining versus three marines and this might be a quick one as the marines now run one marine free running through zeke was able to take out a handful of additional marines in reinforcements it looks like he's going to be able to hunt down yet another the drones actually going up to get aggressive the zerglings coming out another bunker being dropped this not quite in range of that hatchery. The drones were searching to see whether another Marine was coming along the wings, but it looks like that Overlord has scouted that it is in fact holding position. So Zeke actually dealing with this fairly decently does take an early economic hit, but keep in mind that cost, what is that? So that was about four or five Marines. I think that was around five Marines. So 200 resources plus the double bunkers and the cancellation, decent economic damage, lost some mining time but should be able to equalize fairly rapidly and not quite able to drop the counterattack. Looks like he might get a bonus SCV out of it. Trying to get this supply depot down. Other problems for Terra at the moment. Looks like he's going to back off. This is the Marines do spawn on the exterior. They spawn bottom right here from the barracks, which means these two Marines are going to have to wait. And it's going to be a challenge to reseal or at least hold this front. And I'm wondering if Zeke's going to recognizing kind of this, maybe that was a result of the spawn location. Terra's like, I don't like the spawn location, the fact that Marines do spawn bottom right. So let me go ahead and try to get aggressive and make something of it. But right now, holding back up, you can see the Marines just waiting to capitalize, and her, or the, the Zerglings waiting to capitalize and jump on those Marines, but it looks like they are able to scoot to that right-hand corner near the supply depot. Drone moving out. Zeki's gone ahead and grabbed his extractor. Layers on the way. Third, or sorry, drones moving out to go ahead and grab a third. I assume in that bottom right hand corner. 
See, he's still trying to time. You can see him just peeking and still trying to time this. Command Center going up in the meantime behind this double racks into Academy. So trying to fold back to kind of a standard two racks play. SCV is being transferred towards that natural expansion, but as things stand, Ziki, as far as recovery, has actually equalized the worker count. Grabbing his third bottom left, which definitely suggests that we're not going to see... Well, definitely, I mean, it's just standard to go Mutalisk on this map, that we're probably going to see Mutalisk opener. And right now, though, honestly, the way this is looking, I'm wondering if we're also going to see pressure immediately after this. Because this is... So you got the... Th you got three racks open. You got Stim upgrading. The first two medics are produced. This is a good amount of medic marines. This is enough to potentially apply pressure towards Zeke's front. And he might get caught off guard with this. With the rush distances, he needs to be very, very careful. There is a timing, I believe, before this fire finishes. But these medic marines can take off and push towards the front. Zeke can potentially go for a backstab. I don't know if he has zergling speed yet or not. Looks like I think those are fast circling. Sometimes it's hard to tell. But it's potentially what it'll do is, is just try to go for that run by. Comsat drop from Terror. He's scanning the main. He does, in fact, see that Spire is just halfway finished. But is he going to go for a threat bust to try to force some sunken colonies and get a degree of map control? Or is he just going to sit back and go ahead and get air defenses? It looks like he's got a fourth barracks in production. Range is being upgraded. No motions as of yet. So it looks like he's going to hold position currently. Third base is up for Ziki. But yeah, now starting to press. See, he's got the two creep colonies along the way. Not sure whether he wants to dedicate them or not. And it looks like Terra is in fact trying to press against the Zerglings rather than going for a true threat towards the front. The Zerglings being hunted down because they are a potential backstab threat. So Terra just trying to bully them around. Split off some units, but going to lose his medics with that southern grouping. Lost a medic. It's lucky he didn't actually take larger losses. A handful of Marines trying to group up across this. And great delays there, but the two Sutton colonies were forced. Mutalisks now being spawned. Plus one weapons upgrade from Zeke. You might as well, if you've already had to dedicate those two Sutton colonies to the front, be a little bit more aggressive with your Mutalisks in the mid game. But Terror already has a slew of Marines with this follow-up because he is already at... A four barracks count, working on plus one weapons now. He's got range. Adding a fire bat, maybe to have a follow-up bust situation. Six mutalisks grouping up. Not quite able to land that, but does manage to, with the follow-up shot, take out that SCV. Turret is being held by just, look at that tap of repair by that SCV, making that turret even more frustrating to get taken out. But I'm not sure how much Zeke's going to get out of this attack. As this turret holds, additional turrets are going to hold, and he needs to be very, very careful because they're... Yeah, the plus one weapons isn't there, but look at that folding. One mutal is getting wiped out immediately. Terror anticipating having the perfect marine line to engage those mutalisks. You usually don't want to flow into just all of the marines' range at once. You don't want to come at the forward angle. So they're already very, very softened up. Third gas not yet grabbed for Zeke. He's grabbing it right now. A couple Zerglings on the wings. I'm not sure that he feels like he can comfortably take that third base and defend it. Expecting more Mutalisks with that plus one weapons. Looks like a fourth hatchery is there. Hydralisten also down. A third creep colony being dropped. It's going to be necessary considering the minimal losses that Terra has taken at this stage of the match. Zeke, however, at a decent drone count. If he can go ahead and get that third gas up and running and play from there. He'll be in a decently solid position. Full grouping of Mutalisks now looking to engage. But man, this is a lot of Medic Marine. No plus one weapons upgrade yet, but Terra has units to expand. It's going to force these Mutalisks to stay on the defense rather than getting aggressive. The Marines actually pushing forward, forcing a fourth and fifth Sunken Colony, which I think, yeah, might be necessary. An Evolution Chamber dropping it in front just to try to buy some time for these sunken colonies to get online. Terra pressing into this. No lurkers to help defend. Terra able to take out that middle sunken colony. Now working on the side of the mutilists trying to do what damage they can. Plus one weapons is not yet online. An overlord going to get taken out to the north. It's absorbing some damage, allowing that third sunken colony to get online. But it looks like Terra being overly aggressive, not able to hold it. 
Additional Marines and Medics coming out, but this is gonna allow plus one weapons to finish. This is enough Mutalists to go ahead and finish off what's left. Tarek spending a huge amount of troops. With that, Zeke all of a sudden with a supply lead. Tarek getting overly aggressive, but honestly, for a minute there, if maybe if the Overlord wasn't there, maybe if the Evolution Chamber wasn't dropped, that could have been a completely different story. Plus one weapons now online for Zeke. Six Mutalisks out in the field. The Zerglings looking to chase down this Medic Marine army. Terra now in a bit of trouble. That was a huge investment. To lose all of that army and really not get anything out of it. Fourth base and fourth gas running. No Medics out in the field currently. More Marines fielding out. They now have plus one weapons. Five Barracks completely spinning at this stage. This no science vessel as of yet, so those Mutalix still can do a lot of damage. Evolution Chamber Queen's Nest being dropped. I think Zeke has the time he needs to make his way towards that hive tech. The Mutalisks grouping up, looking for opportunities to dive on these Marines. Not quite grouped up there. Finding some stragglers, a good angle. Wandering up, sees the starport, and now getting on top of that barracks line. With plus one weapons, they can chew through, at these numbers, they can chew through turrets extremely rapidly. SCVs now getting obliterated, but this is provoking a counterattack from Terror. There are lurkers, however, and not a lot of detection. But the Mutalists might want to think about swinging back, because otherwise this might be a devastating attack on the front. First one lurker down, second lurker down, Sutton Colony down, and the third lurker gone, the Mutalists trying to make their way back the medic marines able to punch through terror with the continued aggression the natural expansion breached a single lurker holding the ramp another overlord getting taken out ziki still with a significant supply lead but his natural expansion emptied is he going to end up losing his natural zerglings now spawning and terror with the press into the natural isn't going to be able to finish it before the mules skip back he's able to buy himself breathing room but not a victory more lurkers now burrowing. The drone's going to go ahead and resaturate, but all the Sutton colonies de gone. Terror still making a match of it, keeping Zeke off balance. Still a big supply deficit now for Terror. 40 supply versus 75. Zeke now feeling comfortable enough that he could probably go ahead and take the natural expansion down here. Zerglings along the edge mutalisks looking like they want to go ahead and dive in again trying to get yeah i got to keep an eye on terror because he can do absolutely anything hasn't resaturated to get the three gas but hive tech is in fact up waiting for that defiler mound it feels like maybe if that defiler mound comes online that might be it the mutalisks however completely devastated the main now of terror terror rather than bothering trying to defend the main is moving in with the medic marines to go ahead and assault the front once again the Mutalisks are remaining in position. Streams of Zerglings and Lurkers pressing up. Zeke just trying to clear it, but it looks like Terra able to chew through that army. A single Sutton Colony and a Lurker now in between. Two Lurkers looking to hatch. I don't know that they're even going to be able to burrow. One actually dying. That was actually didn't even get a, a death animation. Terra, this is kind of a desperation attack at this stage. There's GG. Terra making a game of it, just trying to throw units out where he could. However... Zeke with the win to tie things up 1-1, one, one, and we hand it 1337, an appropriate timestamp for this match. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.